Hello, everyone. I am Matthew Thomas with Super Cool Radio. People should be with familiar with my guests at this time. They appeared on season one. They had a couple shows in Indiana and Fort Wayne and South Bend last year as well. Please welcome Tanner and Peyton. Together, they are rags and riches. Thank, Thank you, you Travis. Travis. <laughs> uh, back, back on Super Cool Radio again. Really happy to have you guys. Thank you for having us back. So. Let's start with a fun question. You know, I try to change it up, especially with returning guests. So what is one band that you guys have played live with that people should check out? Mm-hmm. That's a good There's question. A lot of- <laughs> <laughs> um, Starting out swinging. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? There's been a lot, so I'm trying to, like. You can name a couple. I mean, yeah, have- yeah, we'll name a few. Yeah. Uh, level third out of boston massachusetts uh great guys and really cool music uh so check them out uh let's see who else just fire off some (laughs) miles v uh check him out out of las vegas uh he's pretty cool oh yeah you talked with him before no i have i know of him I, cool. I, I love that on my show. So if you're listening, man. <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, let's see. Uh, really cool group, Hoity Toity, out of San Diego, yeah. California. Uh, they're all super, super cool. Um, anybody else? Let's see. That's enough. <laughs> we'll just go with those three. <laughs> yeah, that's we, can just, we can keep naming Yeah, them. we'll just get <laughs> Yeah, you guys, you guys have covered a lot. You've been, you played with a bunch of great guests. I know, you know, obviously not too much last year with, you know, COVID restrictions, all that. But you guys have sta- has shared the stage with quite a few amazing talents. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's been a blast. So now, and I want to talk about the shows. The two shows you had in Indiana. The first one was at Fort Wayne, the Muse on Maine, and then you came to my area, my stopping grounds of Mishawaka, Indiana, at the Smokestack Brew. How was it playing both of those shows last year? It was a blast just because yeah. we, we had been sitting at the house so long. We were ready to play. It was fun. I mean, it was a little different just where most people were, you know, that where uh, COVID was still rampant. And so they were kind of like sitting down a little bit and certain people, you know, would come up. But overall, I mean, the, most people were sitting down. So it was a little different than what we were normally used to. But it was we were so glad to be able to play shows. And so... It, it was a lot of fun. I, you know, I made it to the obviously the Mishawaka show, not the Fort Wayne show. Yeah. But you guys at the Fort Wayne show got to play with my friends Hourglass. How yeah. was yeah. that with them? They were super. That was yeah. another band we would love to give a yeah. shout out to because they're they're super great guys uh, and killer music as well. Yeah, I've, I've talked with them quite a few times on my show, and they they always have something new to talk about. It seems like oh so yeah, they're, they're really <laughs> cool. They were great to get to know and everything. And then you got to play the Smokestack Brew in Mishawaka. I was actually there in attendance. And let me tell you, you guys, you bring so much energy when you guys are on stage. It is, it, it's unbelievable, honestly. You have, to, you have to see you guys live to truly appreciate like how much just energy you bring. And Peyton, you're a beast on the drums, too. Like, that, that's Thank legit. You. Thank you. Thank you. So now, um, What'd you guys do like for you know when you're in South Bend? I know you visited a few places. Where'd you guys go? Uh, we actually actually went to the University of Notre Dame. Uh, we just wanted to see it with like yeah. Rudy and everything. We're big on going to see like movie places that were filmed uh, while we're on tour. So that was we already knew going into up yeah. in that area. We were like we're going to University of Notre Dame. So. Didn't get to see the field, but we looked peeked through the little <laughs> fence. So, yeah, that area. I mean, it's really, really built up. Like since you know, I've lived there, I've seen like the change in progression, and it's it's a beautiful area. Just everything yeah. around it, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it is. But, great campus and everything too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. great campus, great school, and really cool to be around. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, I got I got to see uh, a hockey game. 
outside at the football field. I mean, it was cold, but it was amazing. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't like it's cold. Now. Like you know, this week has been cold, like around zero. It wasn't as cold when I when I saw a hockey game, but it was just so much fun seeing like a you know a, a different use for the football field and playing yeah. hockey. Yeah. It was really cool. That's cool. That's cool. So, and I know you guys got some cool stuff in the works. I do got an interesting question about. Um, so you released a, a stripped down version of. Um, Tension of the season. Um, how is it different releasing like a stripped down version compared to like the the normal uh, version released before? It was it was different just because we had never done anything like that, and so we wanted to try something new. And so we, at first, we were like, I don't know, do we should we just leave the main vocals we recorded already and kind of like build the music around that? But we ended up just kind of like starting from scratch in a way. Um, and we, we incorporated some of the same instruments, but mostly it was kind of like built from the ground up. It was really fun to like recreate, I guess, the song and change it up a little bit. So, yeah, like reimagine the overall, like the guitar solo is gone, but the horn section comes in. Uh, so it gave it like a, a little bit of like a Christmas feel, um, but just a lot of fun and a completely different version of the song. It is, but you still have, like, I mean, the main structure is there still. I mean, you know, obviously you changed it, as you said, you took out the guitar solo and substituted for horns. But overall, I mean, the song is still there, but it's definitely, it's different for you guys. I'm saying that in a positive way, it's a different direction for you guys. Because you guys include a lot of, like, pop elements, electronics, a lot of cool stuff. But it's also that you can strip a, a song down and have a different feel to it as well. Yeah. Thank you. We we just wanted to do something completely different than anything we've done up to this point. And uh, in the past, we've done so many like acoustic sets with different things, but we've never done that with our band. So uh, we felt like it was time to at least get one song like that out. Yeah, for sure. I, I encourage everyone to check out the, the original version, check out the stripped down version. I, I enjoy both of them. So I hope everyone checks that out because I know you guys will like it as well. But it, it was really cool just seeing, you know, as, as I said, a different direction for you guys. Yeah. So now, the main reason <laughs> I am here, the main reason I am talking to, Pan, to uh, Tanner and Peyton of Rice and Riches is because you guys got a big announcement to make. Yeah, yeah. we do. <laughs> so we have a new single coming out. Uh, it's called Crossfire. Uh, we actually wrote the song and everything recorded and a guy named Cody Morgan Morgan is featuring on this song with us. Uh, the song is set to release March 5th and then the music video will be releasing March 19th. So we're, we're thrilled about this song. It's very, it's different, but it still feels like rags and riches. Well, that's some big news. You heard it here first on the super cool radio rags and riches releasing a brand new single and now I got some follow-up questions because that is my job, at least. Yeah. <laughs> what can people expect from the new single Crossfire? Uh, Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not, not the football team either. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we kind of we kind of created this world, um, and it's like a base in the 1800s, kind of like Wild West, um, and so the there'll be a whole trilogy of music videos to go along with it. Um, we have a couple other singles lined up later in the year. And so it'll be, it'll be really cool. Yeah. It's like 1870s, 18s, like that time period. Uh, what for the music video, the song incorporates a little like, so Cody Morgan, the guy that actually featured on the song with us, uh, his main theme is like space cowboy is his thing. And so Peyton, when he we were producing the song and everything, like he wanted to incorporate some of those like elements of that space cowboy sound. Um, and so there's little things in the background to help it incorporate the Western feel as well into the song. Well, that sounds very cool. And like, how was it like, you know, creating this, you know, kind of Wild West kind of theme? for those music videos like how how did you guys come up with that and like you know actually go through and produce it it was uh go ahead if you want <laughs> so like we didn't have an overall we didn't know yet where we wanted to go and then cody came in with his producer 
as well. And we were all sitting in the studio here um, and just like brainstorming ideas of what to do with the video. We were, we were kind of just writing the song uh, in the middle of writing where you kind of like came up with it. So yeah, we were like, Oh, let's just do a full on Western. Cause we like Django unchained and like the hateful eight uh, movies and stuff. We were like watching some of those in, and got to talking t about those movies with those guys. Uh, and then we were like, what if we just made the whole thing like that? And uh, and then Peyton and I, of course, after we decided, we were like, let's just make it a trilogy and do more because we, when we started writing a story, we were like, we have so much more this story can like go to that we want to just continue it. So that's a, it. Sounds really cool. I like how you kind of came up, you know, watching movies of that kind of similar theme to it. I'm like, you know what? We could do it ourselves. I've seen the pictures you guys have been releasing. I think it looks really cool. Thank you. I do want to know where you got those jackets from because those look cool. <laughs> we actually, I think I got mine from eBay. Or Goodwill.com. Oh, yeah, actually. Goodwill, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I actually found somebody here in uh, on Facebook Marketplace that I got mine. Um, and, of course, like, not to spoil it, but a bunch of other people in the video, uh, everybody basically had to, like, go to Goodwill and go on like Amazon and these different places to buy stuff from that time period. Cause obviously you can't just like find that stuff casually now. Uh, so that's pretty much like the whole thing was everybody was like, let's go get costumes and get really into character. And so, that's, how, that's how it should be with like music. Like, I mean, especially when you're making music video like that, that like, you know, you had to get into character. You had to actually feel like you're in those times. Yeah. So one guy actually spent like, I think it was over two hundred dollars on his outfit, because <laughs> um, he was just so invested in the character and stuff. So yeah, it's crazy. Well, we we have a good group of people around us now that you know do some acting and things and it, and uh, they're just really invested to help. Whenever we're doing a, something, they want to dive in with us and they they'll go all out. So super fun. Yeah, it's something you put on your resume. But like, yeah, I was a cowboy in a Rags and Riches music video. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But yeah, as you said, it's not like you can go to a local, you know, Wild West uh, store and be like, yeah, I'll take this stuff. Like, I mean, obviously, yeah. you have to go online. I will say Goodwill's got good stuff. I've gotten two suit jackets from there, like great suit jackets for $2 total. So <laughs> Nice. Yeah, it, it's crazy what you can find. Exactly. It worked out perfectly for you guys and the theme you guys were doing. So I think it's very cool. I'm really looking forward to everything that you guys got going on with that. And there will be a teaser coming up later in this episode for the music video. But how was it working with Cody? Because he sounds like a really cool guy to work with. Yeah, yeah he's he's a great guy. Um, we actually met him a while back, but we weren't like friends or anything. We just... Uh, started listening to some of his music and we were like, we knew we wanted to do a collab uh, this year. Cause we haven't done that either uh, to this point. And we were like, who are we going to get? Uh, and we just chose him and felt like he was the right fit for the song we were writing uh, at the time. But yeah, him and his uh, producer, Austin Jones, uh, great guys. So, and they're both in the music video as well. So <laughs> Right on. Yeah. yeah, it seems like right now collaborations, I think, I think are really cool, especially if like you get like two cool bands that work together. I think that's always awesome. Yeah, you know, I try to, you know, if I can collaborate with people, I always do. Plus, you, you help out each other, you know, exactly. it goes yeah. both ways. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to a Crossfire coming out uh, March 5th. Yep. Yeah, March 5th and then the video March 19th. Save those dates. Check it out. I know it's going to be cool. I've seen already the pictures for it and you guys' social media. I'm pumped for it, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the, the whole finished product on March 5th, March 19th. So save those dates, people. Please do. Yeah. <laughs> but also, I, I know I asked this question for your first interview because I, I want to see now how, how it has uh, progressed now since this is a new year and everything. What music have you guys been listening to now this week? Go ahead. This week. All right. This week. Uh, <laughs> um. uh, well, you guys are thinking, how about, I'll start with mine. How about that? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. So this week, uh, I've been listening to a lot of uh, Heaven Below. Uh, they're a really cool rock band. Uh, if you know, like, uh, Nikki Stringfield's a part of it. And um, she, she's, it, it's really cool. It's a, it's like just really hard, aggressive metal, or rock, mm -hmm. I should say, it's rock. And uh, it, 
when I'm working, that's pretty much what I put on. That's cool. Yeah. And then, uh, and then obviously local me, I've been listening to a, a really cool band out of South Bend. They're called Magic Cat, and it's okay. like um, it's like keyboards, but like I, it it just honestly, it's just really trippy rock music to me. Honestly, it is really that's cool. cool. That's really cool. All right, you guys. Um, I actually just heard the new Greta Van Fleet uh song. We were just watching the music video like right before we uh, came down here. Uh, so it's super cool, very interesting. Uh, and we actually watched the half uh, the halftime performance of the weekend as well, like right before we walked down. We just were talking about some elements of his set and stuff, and so that's like what happened like right before we came into this. <laughs> Uh, I'd say we've been listening to some obviously Twenty One Pilots again. Um, we kind of kind of took a break from it just for a while, but getting back into it again. But also, like I've been listening to Young Blood a little bit, just uh, a little bit. I don't know, punk punk rock, I guess, kind of feel um, different stuff like that. So. Yeah, he, uh, I believe he worked with Machine Gun Kelly for uh, one of his songs, I want to say, right? I yes. So. Yeah. That song was super cool. Yeah. Yes, it was super cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just the, the way, uh, I th honestly, I do really enjoy Machine Gun Kelly, just the way he's able to kind of just kind of flow through genres. I know he started out more like hip hop and rap, but now he's like more into like using guitars and pop punk. I think that's cool. I think it's a nice. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice changeover and something different. Yeah, keeping it fresh. I think that's a big yeah. part of like keeping yourself relevant is keeping yourself fresh and doing different things and ideas. Yeah, I agree. But yeah, what do you think about the halftime? Before? I watched it as well. Uh, I I picked up on two elements that I actually really liked. And okay, I'll let you. I'll, I'll let you guys. You go ahead. I enjoyed it. Um, it was. It wasn't as like performance based. I guess you would say like there wasn't a lot of like dancing and stuff like that. But like, I just like the the simplicity of it. And one of my favorite parts was when he goes backstage and did like the like with the camera stuff. I know people were making fun of it, but like I thought it was really cool. So yeah, we we were talking about how that when he had the camera and everything, it felt like the uh, the Dark Knight movie with like the Joker scenes of that when he's got the camera like really up in his face and stuff. So it was cool. I mean, I enjoyed it. Um, obviously, he's had plenty of like hit song so <laughs> uh, obviously yeah but uh, uh the two things i liked well i, I like honestly i like the backstage stuff i thought it was something different i know i, I i'm gonna assume because like covid restrictions could, they couldn't do as much as they could have you know compared to other shows i assume yeah. i'm not totally sure but i think the using the backstage is really cool and i like honestly i liked all the people um on the field when he ended it i yeah. thought Honestly, it looked cool. Like the camera shot when you when they first started seeing the camera come down, you see the whole field of people. I yeah. thought it looked really cool. Yeah, and the music, the music, like when it was building up to the blinding light song, like right there was like incredible. Uh, it's probably like my favorite part of the whole performance was like that music section right there. Yeah, I, I think overall it was really good. I did think his vocals uh, sounded like, I mean, it didn't sound as loud when he first started. I think they corrected that within the second song, but I think starting out, you, it was hard to hear him. Yeah, I agree. But that, that's not on him. That's just on the production and the sound and stuff. So yeah, <laughs> live TV. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here on Super Cool Radio again. Back for season two. And a huge announcement made by Rags and Riches. So make sure to check out Crossfire on March 5th, March 19th. As I said, save those dates. Check these guys out because they are really cool. I actually got to meet you guys. Yes. Yeah. It was great meeting you. Yeah. And thank you for having us back. We really enjoy talking with you and everything. So <laughs> thank you. Yeah, of course. As I said, when I saw you guys live, always welcome my show. And I'm you guys, you guys are just fun to talk to about you know different stuff that I you know don't normally get to talk about with stuff like you know we talked about the first yeah. time, talking about the halftime show for the football game with somebody so that was pretty cool. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> well, a lot of people who I asked about it said no, I didn't watch football, so I said okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know you kind of touched on this a little bit, and I got one more thing before I let you guys go. So what can we expect for the rest of this year? I know you got a trilogy of videos coming out. Do you have anything else in the works? We do. Um, 
So you can talk about, we'll say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know we're we're doing the trilogy for sure, and so with those videos, obviously, there's going to be new singles, uh, and those are going to kind of come out throughout the rest of the year. Um, we have a few shows starting to line up, uh, but it's not getting too crazy yet because you know people are still iffy on if things are going to be back fully. Uh, but we we have some things in the works, um, and. Mostly, uh, mostly mu a lot of new music and music videos. We're going to be doing this year will be the most songs we've released in one year and music videos. So we're really, really excited about that. It sounds like you got a very uh, kind of busy schedule, but it sounds like a lot of fun, especially releasing music, especially the most music you released in a year. I, I'm really looking forward to it. I've dug all the music you guys released. I have your worldwide CD. I've been listening to that this Thank week. You. Thank I, you. Like uh, uh, speed of sound, wait, speed of sound. There we go. Yeah. Right. There, right. <laughs> that I, I I had that on repeat when I was at work one day because I was like, I gotta get some work done. We're gonna be listening to this. <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, awesome. people people still love. That's like when we write something new and release it. We're like, okay, what's your favorite song now? And they're like, I don't. I love this new song, but speed of sound still my favorite. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so. You guys came out hot with that first single. It just it, it's got just that intensity to it. I mean, it, it's really driving throughout the whole song. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's I mean, I really dig you guys like all of your guys' music and the stuff you do. But I mean, there's just there's something special about Speed of Sound. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's it's like our our baby, our first song. So. <laughs> For sure, for sure. But for Tanner and Peyton of Rags and Riches out of Kentucky, I am Matthew Thomas with Super Cool Radio. Thank you for watching. Thank you, everyone, for watching my interview with Rags and Riches. Had a great time chatting with Peyton and Tanner. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Spotify, Anchor, iTunes, or Google Podcasts. And please Check out a really cool store. You can pick up a shirt that I'm wearing right now on Endeavor After. We also have beanies for sale as well. But now, here is an exclusive look at their new trailer for Crossfire. It comes out on March 5th, and the music video drops on March 19th. So please, check out, support, stream, and give a like to Rags and Riches. Here is the trailer for Crossfire. Enjoy. <laughs> 